Demonstration number three is to show immediate problem notification while in route mode. The setup on the 2130 or 2140 is to first go to fan inboard vertical. And then the specific setup is a little bit different, so go to Alt, User Setup. And in user setup, we want to turn auto advance to zero. And we want to change data storage mode to save all data. The other uh, thing to do is make sure that your Bluetooth wireless device is set up and activated. In the previous demonstration, we've, we've shown that the 2140 is the fastest analyzer in the market. And this is very important for not only worker efficiency, but also worker safety. Another key attribute of the CSI 2140 is its ability to provide immediate problem notification. This is done through the 2140's advanced signal processing and ability to display that information immediately. To demonstrate that, um, we're, we're going back on to our previous route. We're we, as you see, I'm at a point right now where everything is, is basically green. I'm going to retake this data, but this time when I retake the data, I'm going to induce a, a fault. And by, by slightly pressing on the rotor kit, I can basically induce a fault into this machine. And one of the first things I might want to do is when I am looking analyzing as an analyst in the field is be able to actually listen to the data. So to listen to the data, I press listen to live data. And I immediately come up with a selection that says, what channel do I want to listen to? Right now I am on one of the radial channels. I want to go directly to the axial channel. So I hit my input to channel A. The other feature on being able to not only go through your channels is we can filter the sound information. Right now I'm on a 2000 Hz high pass filter. If I wanted to pick up lower frequency type information, I can change my filter. That's to an 8000 Hz filter. And now my filter's off and I'm hearing the raw vibration signal being transmitted through. This allows uh, the operator to, to get a very intuitive, immediate uh, analysis of what's going on through the ears. The second thing is, let me go ahead and I'm going to collect my data. I'll hit my acquire data. And the analyzer is set up to, to collect all data. So it's asking me, do I want to save this data? And yes, I want to go ahead and save this data. It's acquiring the data with the fault. And immediately, Everything was green, but now look what happens. My two times turning speed has gone into warning alarm. Well, if it's in warning alarm and I'm out in the field and I might be collecting 50 points, the first thing I might want to do is, is to make a note of this. And the 2140 has a, a button called Notes. And I like user-defined notes, customized notes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, that's a two times under basic vibration analysis. That's probably a misalignment. So I'm going to select possible mis misalignment. And I'm going to add that note to that point so that later on when I come back, I can be reminded of what I saw. Hit enter. And then the second thing is I might want to try to do some basic confirmation of that. I want to see what was it like the last times I've actually analyzed that same point. To do that, I can go in and actually view my trend history up to multiple points, maybe even a year or two of data from that point. So I'm going to go into view trend history and you can see right here where from last reading to this reading, my one times overall has increased. I'm going to go to the next trend and I can just paged through the trends, and what I'm particularly interested in is in my two times trend. And this is my two times, and you can see the dramatic increase over the periods of data collection to where it's almost 
into a high fault alarm.